Why is this so important in my opinion? Really is because this is the best mindset you have when you're playing. What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, back again, yes sir, with another video. So today, we're gonna be going over a really hot topic for this season. We're gonna be discussing the top things that are hindering your improvement for chapter two, season three. So listen, guys, this is the truth. We really do read the comments, you know, you guys post, and we really know that you like these kinds of videos. So we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna be covering everything that you need to know from edits that are holding you back to improper training schedules. So you guys are gonna be starting season three the best you can. I'm so excited for you guys. I really believe that you're gonna be so successful, not only in this game, but also in life. And so stop doubting yourself. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you're going to improve in every area of your life. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, it's time to scream this out. Bunch of crunch army, here we go. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that bunch of crunch. Let's get this going. All right, guys, so I got a special announcement to make just to let you know I do read all of your comments every single video, and I really appreciate you guys. So we've been hearing all the requests um, about me making my own personal story, and it's about that time, all right? It's time to show you guys my own personal story and how I made it to where I am today. So the goal is going to be to really inspire you guys to persevere past all of your obstacles. And so I'm glad to announce that I'm going to be making my own story for you guys at 1 million subscribers so help us get there guys share the story you know let people know about the channel and i'm telling you guys we're going to release my story once we hit the 1 million mark also you know connect with me make sure to follow me at your motivation guy so excited guys I'm hype right now, man. Mentality is the number one killer of Fortnite careers, all right? Okay, so that might seem a little dramatic, but it definitely destroys dreams. A bad mentality, guys, will stop you from improving, and it'll also make you tilt. If you tilt, then you're not gonna enjoy playing. Tilting is when everything annoys you and it really gets you angry. I've had this problem for many, many years in my life, right? Like the problem you have with tilting, it's always going to be a negative thing. First things first, we're gonna start off with this simple one, right? If you find that you are tilted, take a break. A break is gonna allow you to reset and just calm down. Trust me guys, a break is gonna make all the difference in the world. Okay, so another tip to help avoid tilting is to have a towel in front of you at all times. Now, before you call me crazy, let me explain, all right? Your motivation guy is here. Let me help you out, all right? I'm your friend, remember that. The reason for the towel is more psychological, all right? After every game that you pick up the towel and just wipe your hands, this is, will be like a mini reset for you to just really calm yourself down and wipe away any negative opinion on the last game, all right? Now, I wanna share a mindset with you that you need to adopt in your games. This is gonna help you improve your mentality if you can properly make it work. And I believe in you, I know you can do it, all right? The mindset is this, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose period. This model right here is great, all right? But at the same time, you never want to lose, do you? You're trying to be the best of the best. That's why this model needs to be changed. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Yeah, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. So even when you lose, guess what? You're still growing and you're still learning. Now we're talking. Why is this so important in my opinion? Really is because this is the best mindset you have when you're playing. If you really believe in it and truly agree with this statement, you're not gonna ever tilt. Every death will be more of a learning curve than a broken desk. <laughs> when you die, go into replay mode, figure out what went wrong and figure out a solution for next time. And I promise guys, the more and more that you do this, the better you're gonna be as a player, not just your mentality, but your gameplay will show the same improvement. Learning from deaths rather than just raging from them will guide you into the next time you're in a similar situation, all right? Now, some of you guys are probably like, man, I, I wanna learn some tips, and you are gonna learn some tips, but you have to have the mentality. Like all the most successful pros out here, man, they have the right mentality. It's not just about tips. It's not just about strategy. Some of you guys know the best tips in the world. Some of you guys have the best strategies in the world, but your mentality is off and you're never gonna be truly, truly successful until you have the right mentality. I'm telling you, trust me. Okay guys, so next up, to get a better mentality, you need a good motivator. <laughs> That's why your motivation is here. Come on, man, you already know. There is always someone who's working harder than you, all right? So this should drive your competitive mindset and make you work harder, smarter, and longer. Being driven with motivation, man, that's gonna break any barriers preventing you from improving. Now, another bad mentality example would be not being able to take criticism, whew, 
Okay, so if you can't take constructive criticism, well, you're probably not gonna be able to improve at Fortnite. And that's just the bottom line, guys. Like, you know, the best people in the world are the most humble people in the world. And so in order to be great, you have to be humble. You have to wanna grow and take constructive criticism. Take advice, you know, the areas that you're weak at, that you can get better from. This is going to be very important going into season three with the introduction of trios. All right, so you need to be open to criticism and really the same goes for your teammates. Just make sure it doesn't really turn into a roast battle. <laughs> I know a lot of players may struggle transitioning from solos to trios, so open communication on what can be improved as individuals and as a group is really important for progression. All right, so another quick topic that we really wanted to touch base on is the people that you need to surround yourself with. Oof, goodness gracious, so important. The truth of the matter in competitive, you know, Fortnite isn't really, it's not for everybody. A lot of people are happy with the level that they're at, or they're just happy to improve at a slower pace. All good. Now, playing with these kinds of people, it's not a bad thing, but it isn't a massive motivator. If you surround yourself with people who aren't as passionate about the game, you know, they strive to improve and they take practice seriously, naturally, you're going to improve if you have those type of people. If you constantly play with your friends, but you're the best one, you know, you're gonna have a really hard time at improving. It's gonna be really, really difficult. Now, we're not saying to completely abandon your friends, but don't be afraid to play outside your group, especially if you're the only one who is taking the game seriously. The potential of Fortnite is unreal, man. Like the fact the game is free to play and tournaments are free to enter means anyone can be the next best player. Our goal here at ProGuides and my personal goal as your motivation guy is to provide you with the tools and services to get you at the top of your game. So you gotta be sure to check out the link in the description, all right? Okay, so first things first is going to be one thing that you may not have already thought of, but it can have a direct effect in your gaming, and it's your setup. Now, yes, we could mean your equipment, and you know, in a lot of cases, you may not have the best controller or mouse and keyboard, I get it, but this is going to be a guide to help you not just tell you, you know, you need to just go out and just buy the best peripherals. No, 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 no. What we mean is when we say your setup is how clean it is. Look. <laughs> This is true, a clean environment, a clean mind. You have to ensure that your surroundings are clean. If you're constantly pushing cups, plates, <laughs> you know, just like, you know, junk aside, you know, things that you've eaten. If you just allow all this trash, you know, just to build up aside it, you know, you're gonna allow your environment to really be toxic. And that's just not what you want. Could you imagine being in school or work and everything's a mess? It's not gonna be the best help in your concentration, all right? We all hate doing it, but once it's done, it's done. So if you do have a messy setup, do yourself a favor, whip out those gloves and go to town, all right? If you still live at home with your parents, you better not make your mom or your dad do that, okay? You need to do it yourself. Now, Fortnite has been out for a long time, so it's really easy to get stuck on your out-of-date settings. The meta is changing constantly, and what you were able to do before, you may not be good enough now. So what do you do to keep up? You adapt. So for controller players, you know, there have been a lot of changes in sensitivity from legacy being removed and constant nerfs here and there. You constantly need to adapt and keep up with these changes. So let's talk about controllers for a second. All oh, my controller players make some noise, come on now. Okay, so if you're a controller player, you know, it doesn't really matter if it's a PC or console, the customization available is perfect for you to figure out what sensitivity is for you. So just to give you a little tip for a lot of you controller players out there, try and follow these guidelines when choosing a sensitivity. Control is better than speed. So if you get a sensitivity that you can always hit your edits, never miss a build placement and hit headshots, then you found your perfect sense. I would personally recommend slower edit multiplier, fast build multiplier, and around 40 to 50% for the horizontal and vertical, regardless of whether you're linear or exponential. Don't just use a sensitivity you just see your favorite pro using because it works for them, but it may not work for you. So take this guide on what we would recommend and just tweak it to fit you and your playstyle, right? Unfortunately for you mouse and keyboard players out there, it really isn't a lot to say for sensitivity because you haven't got all the customization options like controller players. However, you can still use the same logic. Okay, so go for a slower sensitivity to get used to crosshair placement and get your aim, edit, and build consistent. And once you feel that you're comfortable with your new slower sensitivity, slowly increase bit by bit until you find what's perfect for you. So, recover sensitivity. What about mentality? Vibe reviewing guys really goes hand in hand with the mentality improvements we're trying to push here. 
So the reason we say these things are perfect is we know they work. From pro players in Fortnite to pro athletes in sports, reviewing your work, it's gonna help you. The reason this helps you is because you can pinpoint what went wrong and sometimes what worked. As we said earlier, sometimes you win, sometimes, no, you do not lose, you learn. This mindset of sometimes you win, sometimes you learn, this mindset will only work if you VOD review your games. Now, VOD reviewing at first can be tough. It's really hard to know what to look out for and figuring out what you, know, you should have done instead. So you can go to ProGuys.com to use the Play With Pro service with the pro player, and they can VOD review with you to help you pinpoint what to look for, okay? Generally, every death can be pinpointed to a decision you made. For example, it could have been taking a shot too early, when if you waited there, could have been a better opportunity. Maybe you didn't eat some bunch of crunch. I don't know. <laughs> Reviewing your games is really especially going to help you improve your rotations, not just in-game, but early and mid-game too, right? If you land at this same landing spot and die every single time you leave the area, VOD reviewing is going to help you gain an understanding of your surroundings so you know what you're up against. All right, guys, recap. So we covered a lot in this video. We know after you watch this video and take this advice with you, man, you're going to see much improvement. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to be a better player in this game? I hope you are. Keep up your grind, guys. Seriously, season three could be your season. We have all these stories we have on this channel, but I know one of our stories soon is going to come from one of you guys. All right, so let's go over a few points as a recap to ensure that you're leaving with the critical bits of information that you need. Here we go. Sometimes you win and sometimes you what? Sometimes you learn. <laughs> That's it. So do yourself a favor and just take this model, even if this is the only thing you take from this video, all right? This is going to help you get rid of this dry spell of your level not improving. So being able to take constructive criticism is very important. You cannot improve if you cannot listen to what people are telling you, all right? Don't pretend you know everything. That doesn't make you a better person. It makes you a weaker person when you pretend that you know everything because then you never learn. And that's one of the things I had to learn in my life. I had to learn to listen to people. I had to learn to take constructive criticism and that's how I've been able to be successful in a lot of areas of my life. All right, so don't be afraid to look for teammates outside your friendship group who share the same passion and dedication to improve and progress. This is gonna keep you on task and motivated. Guys, <laughs> you better clean your room. <laughs> clean setup, clean mind, man. You can fully focus on the game and training without anything in the back of your mind or any distractions in the room. All right, don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone. I know a lot of people will stay on the same sensitivity and same keybinds because they've been on it for a long time. I get it. You're shooting yourself in the foot though. If you don't feel like you're improving, exploring your options and investing time into your aim, your future self is gonna thank you. Reviewing each step to learn from it will make you a better player. Understanding what got you killed could save you in the next time you're in that same situation. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, the one who is in your corner rooting for you, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta. I love you guys. I believe in you guys. Don't ever give up, all right? Don't ever quit. If, if you hear negativity around you, you're seeing it on the news, you're seeing it in life, man. Just keep going. I'm telling you, man, you're going to get through your situation. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It really, really does help us understand the type of content that you want us to put out there. Subscribe for more videos with notifications so you don't miss an upload and finally leave a comment of mottos that you guys try to adapt in your own game. It may help another person out of our community. We have a loving community, a positive community. So let's keep going, man. Bunch of Crunch Army, let's go.